Canadians are frozen in their ways when it comes to ice making. However, there's a new technology changing how arenas resurface ice. It promises to save money and emissions in the process. It's called real ice, and the real difference is the use of cold water instead of hot. The NHL Outdoor Games, KHL and many other leagues in Europe have already made the switch, and now it's the CN Centre's turn. Hockey has been around in Canada since the 19th century. And how we get our ice in sport-like shape has stayed the same until now. Just hook it up on the cold water pipe and you fill up the submarine with water. That's it. Real ice is that simple. And it's not. It uses cold water instead of hot and funnels it through a vortex. What happens in the center is a low pressure zone that uh, gathers the air bubbles to the center and divides the air bubbles from the water. Also what happens through this vortex movement uh, is the viscosity uh, gets lower so the water flows out nice, nicely. The CN Center is one of 10 test rinks participating in the pilot project sponsored by Fortis BC. It could save the city between five and eight thousand dollars per year. It was promoted with the energy savings and of course that's what I'm trying to do with our civic facilities to reduce our natural gas and hydro consumption so I was, uh, was very interested in uh, finding more, more about, uh, about the project. The switch will save in CO2 emissions as well. It eliminates the need to heat water. Now they used 180 degrees we are down to 70, 65 or 70. Huh? and to keep the ice cold. The temperature will eventually be decreased to minus five degrees. You have to raise the brine temperature before you pour the cold water, otherwise it will freeze too fast before the water actually hits the cracks. Ken Squires has worked at the CN Centre since it opened. He, like a lot of Canadians, is used to resurfacing with hot water. I'm old school, I guess you could say, because uh, I'm used to making ice with uh, hot water. Um, but it's kind of winning me over a little bit now. He hasn't heard any complaints from the Cougars since the arena started the transition to real ice a month ago. But there will be a difference for skaters. We still feel it. It's, uh, that's different than if it was uh, done with hot water. So. Real ice leaves an oily residue, but it also makes ice clearer, stronger and faster. They will notice a difference. They will notice a difference in, in, the, in the speed, in the skating speed. And uh, if you weren't able to ring the puck, you'll be able to do that. More goals are always a good thing. The project wraps up next month. If the city decides it likes it, we get to keep the $30,000 realized technology for free. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.